What up, everybody? I'm Jeannie. Welcome back to Magenta Tarot Messages. We're going to be talking into this love energy today. I want to help for this, and you already know what it is. So let's just begin. I'd like to thank everybody for those likes, comments, subscribes, booking those personal readings with me, and just being here and giving me your good energy. Virgo, what's up? What's going on in your love life? What y'all got going on? <laughs> All right. What's the news? We're going to see what card's coming out for you. All right, see what's going on this evening. I hope you all, all are doing and feeling well. What's going on in Virgo's love life? Love life energy for Virgo. Okay, unexpected love and love's attention. Okay. Mm, what's going on with Virgo? in love okay we got <clears throat> two cards that came out seduced and trying to drag you into some bs all right let's see what this energy is let's see what this energy is virgo okay so with the unexpected love and love's attention virgo there could be somebody that really likes attention they could be like the center of attention on all times this person is like a goofball or they talk a lot they, they know it all there's something about this person where they get a lot of attention either from talking or doing or movements their charisma the way that they walk the way that they talk gets a lot of attention you are not expecting to like somebody who gets this much attention or you know uh is the center of attention because i feel like that's like opposite energy for virgo i feel like virgo is the type of person who sit in the room and just watch all right they, they're not they're gonna be the center of attention because they don't want to be but somebody is virgo you may have fallen unexpectedly in love with this person they could have seduced you child <laughs> okay they could have seduced you um made you feel all types of ways somebody could like to get their hair pulled okay it's giving me dominatrix domination okay <laughs> corsets and lingerie could be very significant for you virgo you could like to turn up because i see like tutus and tights <laughs> okay um but more of this pulling energy drag, okay? Trying to drag you into some bullshit. You may feel like since this person uh, likes or craves a lot of attention or gets a lot of attention, they're trying to drag you into bullshit. Like maybe they wouldn't be committal with you, Virgo. Maybe they... <laughs> Maybe they're a person who would have multiple options because there's multiple people always talking to them. Um, they're always chatting with somebody. They're always doing something, maybe always on their phone. There's something about this person's energy where somebody don't trust it. Okay, <laughs> You seduce me, but I'm not fully there. Like You seduce me, but I don't know if I'm going to... I don't know if I'm going to commit to this. I don't know if this will be a commitment. That's Virgo energy. Uh, <laughs> that's some Virgo energy for your ass. All right, they they they're questioning. Okay, you question everything about this person. All right, but I feel like they make you smile. Sony's definitely a goofball. Have a lot of energy, a lot of playful stuff. Okay, they may like to touch a lot. Um, mm. let's see what this energy is. Love energy for the Virgo. I'm picking up on a lot of masculine energy here. I don't know why. I feel like this is um, your point of view, but this point, person's point of view as well. Because they didn't expect to fall in love with somebody like this. Because they usually like attention. And maybe you don't give them that much attention. Virgo, they're trying to seduce you. But maybe they see that like, you feel like they're maybe non-committal. Or you feel like they're trying to you know move too fast move too quickly right uh we got the eight of cups at the bottom virgo thinking about walking away all right <laughs> Think, holding on to the door <laughs> thinking about walking away here at the bottom let's see how you feel about love at this time virgo Okay, we have the two of wands and the two of pentacles in the reverse. So you're thinking of future plans here, but thinking of future energy with this person may make you feel a little disorientated, a little overwhelmed. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, 
you may feel like in the future they may neglect you or Virgo in the future you may feel a little neglected because this person gets a lot of attention but maybe they don't um, maybe when they're in a room with a room full of people, they're the ones who's getting attention, but you're not getting attention from that person because they have a lot of energy around them. Take it as it resonates here. There's something about you thinking of the future with this person and thinking maybe, oh no, maybe this, maybe I'd be overwhelmed trying to give them the attention that they want, or maybe I'm overwhelmed thinking of the future with this person. All right, I don't know why I got grandma's cookies. Okay, grandma's cookies and forehead kisses. Okay, I don't know why that's significant. This person could have a really heavy ties with their family. Okay, this could be a person who goes to their family all the time. Takes you over their family all the time. Something like that, Virgo. Or this is you. With the six of pentacles and the four of cups, it's the energy of... receiving giving here i feel like okay we're going back to the attention thing here because in the future you feel like you may be overwhelmed with receiving the amount of attention all right or receiving or getting something from this person and with the four of cups it's like you may hold back for go hold back from giving or receiving from this person because you don't know if they're trying to drag you into some bullshit or not it's like you don't already yeah seven of swords is on your line will they betray me will this be another betrayal um what's, what's gonna happen if i let them in um it's the energy of an untrusting ass Virgo. Seven of Wands. And your person is reflecting back that energy. Somebody's guarded here. Okay. They're thinking about guarding themselves. They're thinking about protecting themselves. Because I feel like somebody fell in love, but they don't want to fall in love. I feel like they got seduced. They fell in love, but they don't want to like, give you too much and then you pull away. I do feel like they do feel the push and pull. I do feel like they they notice your behavior okay <laughs> they notice your behavior um how does virgo's person feel about love at this time somebody could have brown curly hair Ooh, the emperor okay how does virgo's person feel about love at this time The Wheel of Fortune, the King of Swords, and the Five of Wands. Okay. Okay, Virgo, they're very confident. Okay, starting out with the Emperor energy. <laughs> this is a masculine. Masculine coming out in masculine energy. Somebody's very confident in themselves here. They hold a position of authority. This is somebody who... Like I said, commands the room in some type of way. This could be in a joking matter. I get everybody's attention. Or as a matter of fact, I'm the smartest one in the room is the energy I'm getting. Like I'm, <laughs> there's no one here who's bigger, better, and stronger than me or smarter than me. There's something arrogant about this person's energy. I'm going to go like, I like it. Okay. Oh, I like it. Oh, but the Wheel of Fortune, I do feel like this person feels like it's very faded. Faded events brought them to you. Uh, faded events brought this energy in because this person is someone who feels like <clears throat> they create structure. They create things. Um, things happen because of them. This could be somebody who manifests things easily or gets a lot of things, obtain a lot of things here. Virgo, that he sets around his throne. Um, this could be like a hoarder. <laughs> you can notice this person has a lot of like little items or a lot of cars, a, a lot of jewelry. There's something that this, this masculine owns or a lot of every little thing. Okay, this person has a lot. And with the Wheel of Fortune, they feel like it's fated for them to have these beautiful um, decadent things. Um, Virgo and such as with you <laughs> you're that beautiful decadent thing that just is supposed to come to a masculine like me you feel me uh, with the king of swords energy this is somebody who's very intellectual okay um i do feel like they are holding back virgo uh from other competition 
uh, for holding back from conflict or rivalry here. They don't want to do anything that makes you feel like they have competition or you have competition or you have any um, rivals around or they don't want to feel like you're fighting with them or have any conflict with them in any way. This is somebody who like is all smiles, <laughs> loves attention, uh, wants to maintain a happiness throughout the whole day, the whole week. How you start to act a little weird, Virgo, and they're like, I got to tighten up to combat this competition, this, this conflict. This is somebody here <laughs> who really pays attention to the way that you behave. All right. <laughs> as a reflection of their masculinity, as a reflection of the, the, the events that's going on, it's like, um, maybe you're not giving Virgo enough attention. Maybe I didn't make them laugh enough. Maybe I, cause I haven't seen Virgo smile. I may do something goofy to pull them in. <laughs> I may, <laughs> I may touch him to do something here. I may, I may seduce them to, <laughs> I just heard, I'm fucking to get him to act right. <laughs> like, this is this is what this masculine thinks about here. Um, and how they can bring their power, use their power, their authority, use their head to combat um, this conflict, that whatever's going on, Virgo. Four of Cups. Okay, because you're both in this Four of Cups energy. Yours ended with the Four of Cups, right? And they have the same Four of Cups energy. I feel like they don't want to miss an opportunity with you. They don't want to disconnect from you here. Um, they sure as fuck don't want to do the wrong thing and have you suddenly disconnect from them, Virgo. And you're worried about the future. And if you're overwhelmed about giving to this person, so you may hold back. So it's like they feel your energy. How does Virgo move in this relationship? Okay. We got the Nine of Cups. <laughs> How does Virgo move in this relationship? <laughs> One more card, please. How does Virgo move in this relationship? Show me clearly. The, the night, the ace of wands. Five of Pentacles at the bottom. Okay, okay. Whoa. So we did have the four cards, but I'm still going to keep all six here because I pulled them. Um, uh, Virgo, with the nine and nine energy. It's like you got one chance <laughs> and one chance only to fuck up, okay? And then 10, completion. All right, but with the nine of cups energy and the nine of swords, Virgo, you're very self-serving, okay? I don't mean to make you feel a certain type of way when I say that, but you serve your needs, your satisfaction, your emotional stability. You hold that over all, okay? It's like... Mm -hmm. If you are not serving me, you are not in my life for the right reasons. <laughs> if you aren't giving to me, if you aren't adding to the happiness or the peace inside of my life, then mm -mm. nine of swords, I'm guarded. I'm going to put up boundaries, all right? I've been wounded before. Don't test me, all right? With the sun card and the three of swords, it's like you move in a positive, happy, warm way, Virgo. But with the three of swords behind it, it's there's pain behind it. Um, there's, there's worry behind it. There's the energy of I've been hurt before. Behind all the warmth, positivity, the success, the sun card, there is still pain. So somebody sees that, okay? That is prominent in your energy it's the type of person who one day is all smiles but you and the next day looking at you weird if you do something <laughs> like why are you tugging on me <laughs> um we ain't at the pda level like what you <laughs> what you doing and um, so you could go back and forth with uh, like swatting somebody's hand away, uh, or, or allowing them to pull, to tug, to touch, to seduce. So I feel like Virgo, there, there's a, there's a certain energy with you here, but we have the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Wands energy. When you do want it, you are the one who, uh, makes the 
move, right? You're the one who initiates. You're the one who does something here that initiates um, coitus, okay? <laughs> that initiates love, that initiates the sexual energy, this, this seductive energy. is like, you're. I'm telling you, it's the energy of somebody who, oh, one time they'll... You touch their thighs and they're like, oh, okay. And then like the next day you do the same thing and it's like, <laughs> what are you doing? Stop touching me. And your person's like questioning, like, why are you acting like that? Come on now. All right. Come on now. I was just, I was just in it. Like, <laughs> Virgo. Okay. So you switch up a lot. This could be due to pain. This could be due to apprehensiveness. This could be due to... Um, not wanting to give in or be dragged into bullshit too quickly here, Virgo. I feel like there's a level of control because with the five of pentacles at the bottom, baby, you will leave this person out in the cold like you didn't even know them. <laughs> you will isolate from this energy like you didn't know them. All right. It's like <clears throat> there's a certain level of uh, things that need to be taken care of for you in any given time for you to feel sexual for you to feel happy for you to be okay with this relationship oh some, some there's a, some finicky virgos out there <laughs> some finicky virgos okay how does this person we got the justice card coming out sir justice you could be dealing with a libra okay aries Aquarius, <laughs> Gemini, Libra energy out here. Um, how does Virgo's person move in love? energy for their first card out is this is a hard working masculine okay this is a hard working masculine who isn't um who 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 doesn't care about using their resources to give to you their heart on resources on you to spending their hard worked resources on you this is a masculine who works baby and not only do they work um they're the head of the household type of energy. You ain't got to pay for shit, Virgo. They could be paying bills, okay? They could be doing something here. But this person, um, I heard, put the money in my hand. Like, this is not the type of person who would be, uh, have anything to say if you asked them for money or if um, they wanted to get your hair and nails done, if they wanted to take you out a date, they wanted to feed you, Virgo. This is the type of person who has no problem with that. They're real... <laughs> <laughs> real masculine energy okay does not expect anything back financially for you except happiness and your emotions right but is willing to take their hard-earned money and give to you four of coins energy here they feel like they will give to you to hold on to you this is somebody who knows their masculine role right um this is somebody who knows that uh that if they are providing because what did i say about you having the nine of cups in your energy if they're not providing anything for you emotional stability satisfaction um love any of that if they're not giving to you in some type of way then why are you in my life this is somebody who knows they have to give to hold on to you queen of wands energy because you have that courage to be independent you are a beautiful specimen and like i said this is a beautiful masculine who thinks that they need somebody attractive as well like they deserve it here you are and to hold on to you they are willing to put out money here virgo hermit card and the queen of pinnacles are seeing you in your energy beautifully Okay, so I do feel like this person knows information about you with this hermit card. It's almost like they have been studying you. They've been introspecting about the Queen of Pentacles. They have been really thinking about you. When they're in isolation, when they are uh, isolated from you, they think a lot about you. 
Virgo, and how to keep you in this practical, stable, abundant, nurturing, domestic comfort energy. Because I feel like they don't expect anything from you, but Virgos give, right? Virgos give in a way that makes people happy. <laughs> and they don't expect anything back. But if you give something back for it, all right, that keeps the Virgo in this giving energy. So you know if you are depleted in giving, right, then eventually that giving stops and eventually this, the guards come up okay so this person is very they're, it's like ooh <laughs> um somebody knows their masculinity well okay and they know how to treat you in a way where you are submissive okay you you may not feel like you are submitting to this person but they know how to keep you in this um abundant practical nurturing domestic energy here happy energy here virgo so in fact you are submitting to them even if you don't think that you are baby girl okay baby boy um take the rules as they resonate and switch it around but it's the energy of somebody knowing you so well it's like <laughs> I was like, all right, I know I got to do this for Virgo today um, to keep Virgo in the right energy, baby. The chariot to keep things moving forward briskly in victoria, victorious energy. Somebody knows you well, Virgo. They know how they have to treat you. <laughs> They've been studying, okay? <laughs> I love it. Um, How does Virgo feel about this relationship at this time? How does Virgo feel about this relationship at this time? Okay. Two of Swords. Oh, woo wee. I could flip the table, Virgo. <laughs> I can flip the table. How does Virgo feel about <laughs> Virgo ain't letting your guard down for shit. Okay. One more <laughs> baby the king of wands virgo mm. <laughs> okay with the two of swords energy you're still <laughs> you're still weighing the odds on this person i'm telling you you may be seduced by them one minute and one minute you're like i'm i'm at this door <laughs> I don't know if I want to go in the corridor with you. I don't know. <laughs> Virgo. Okay. Not letting your guard down for shit. Okay. This is this is hilarious to me because I feel like big bro vibes. Period. <laughs> um, Queen of Swords energy. Um, yeah. You're indecisive of whether you're going to cut this person out. If you're going to be independent or if you're going to let this person seduce you, pull you into this room and, and get them in and let them have this this position over you okay with the seven of cups in the reverse you are not looking at any other options they have your awareness okay they you're very clear they have your attention here all right this is sudden awareness this is attention of the king of wands this is the person who has your attention but you're not sure if you're going to um be independent or not still they haven't shown you enough <laughs> <laughs> but they're a leader, Virgo. Okay, with the King of Wands, you do find them attractive, seductive. You do find them a leader. You do find them bold. <laughs> okay, you have optimism in them here, Virgo. But you don't know yet. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> and this is somebody spending their money on you. <laughs> Flying you out, giving you this position, really treating you good here. And you're still like, hmm side eye i'm watching i'm watching you how does this person feel about love currently how does this person feel about the relationship with virgo currently y'all crack me up <laughs> this is funny Ooh, the sun card coming out for the energy okay how does this virgo's person feel about being in a relationship with virgo currently The Seven of Swords. What? <clears throat> Let's see what that's paired with. The Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wand energy. Okay. <laughs> 
Virgo, this shit's funny. <laughs> okay. You got this man in his feelings. All right. Or Virgo women, you got the Virgo men, you got this woman in their feelings. Take it as it resonates here. But with the sun card, somebody feels happy, positive, and successful when they're in a relationship with you. But with the seven of swords and the ace of wands, they don't know if this is a lie. Okay. <laughs> it's like they see you acting strategic. They see you the way you move here. All right, they don't know if you are going to betray them, if you are going to, I heard run away, love, okay? If you're going to run away, if you're going to swap their hand, Virgo, if you're going to get this deep into the relationship and run away from them again, somebody has a fear of losing you or fear of being betrayed by you or fear that you're deceiving them because you're a very attractive person, right? You are somebody worth holding on to and clearly worth giving to, but they don't know if you're gonna stick around. <laughs> they don't uh, they don't know if this is all just if you're using them or not here, Virgo. But with the ace of wands and the eight of wands energy, this is somebody very passionate, okay? Has the desire to have forward movement with you, to pick up the pace, who who wants to keep it going, right? This is somebody who is very excited, has a lot of passion and excitement around um, being with you and staying with you, period. Okay, so I hope that gives you some insight about how your person is feeling, about what's going on here, the dynamic. Um, this was a beautiful read. Um, this does feel like new energy or like... <laughs> the new dating stages here, Virgo. So I'm excited to see how this plays out and what goes down. Leave a comment down below to tell me about your situation. And y'all already know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.